We now shift our attention to the Island University. What's better than basketball season? How about catching some hoops and some rays? As we take a look back at last year for Willis Wilson's men's program, going 8-10 and 10 in the Southland, they do bring back Miles Smith, Kareem South, Elijah Schmidt among the leaders back this year when it comes to production. And, of course, it's already year number 20 of men's basketball down there on the Island University. One of the players they lose, Joseph Kilgore, he's now playing overseas, but had that quick cup of coffee, of course, uh, with the contract with the Harlem Globetrotters, also a big part of a three-on-three -three competition. So this brand of the Islanders is starting to spread. It is. It really is, and it's making a difference. The guys that are coming into our program have high expectations. They're thinking about our program in a different way. We're thinking about trying to be a breakthrough, and, and these guys bring that sort of mentality, that intentionality to the table every day. You're now one of the longer tenured coaches here in the South, and I remember your first year you came in, had to almost reinvent the program on campus, but you have built this into an atmosphere, an environment, a culture there on the island that is really helping you with the recruiting process. Yeah, and it's been very significant and important to our program. We're trying to make our campus a vibrant campus. We're trying to make Corpus Christi into a college town. No better way to do that than, than through uh, Division One basketball. And so the guys in our community, uh, they, they really make the effort to invest in our student body, invest into the, in, in the public. And we're out and about. We're trying to build a basketball program. We're trying to develop a fan following. So how do you take the next step with this program this year after losing three of your top six uh, performers from a year ago? You know, this is Division One basketball. There are a lot of good players out there. We've been really fortunate. Our, our assistant coaching staff has done a great job with recruiting. The interesting thing about uh, our team so far this year is nobody stands out. We've got a group of guys that are incredibly balanced. I think this is going to be the deepest team I've ever coached. And I like some of the intangibles, our ability to shoot the ball, our ability to defend. You're going to be able to show off some of that depth early on at home. You've got that home-and-home -home South Texas showdown against UTRGB on the schedule. Make a trip to Knoxville to take on Rick Barnes and his volunteers. And then, again, back home, some in-state foes for you all uh, to try to, again, try to improve that recruiting battle that you may have with some of these other programs. You know, we, we have a great schedule, the opportunity to play some national caliber programs like Tennessee. Tennessee's going to come into the season ranked in the top five. I think that's going to be terrific for our guys, and we'll get a real sense of what high major basketball is like. I think the thing that stands out to me the most about our schedule is the fact that we've got 16 home games. We have not had that many home games since I've been on the island, and the home team wins most of the time. So we're hoping that we can build some momentum going into March.